let's talk about cheap marine toilets or portable boat toilet options, if you will. There's so many bathroom jokes I want to make. Personally, there's nothing I love more than a good bathroom joke. But I'll hold it for now. I don't want to I don't want to flush my channel just yet. One of the primary differences from a bigger boat to a smaller boat is a toilet. Many boats over about 22 feet long, which is 6.7 meters for my metric friends, have some kind of enclosed toilet facility. And larger boats actually have a nice bathroom with flushing toilets and a sink. Those larger boats with a bathroom have complex systems of holding tanks and pumping systems that can be operated differently depending on how far offshore they are. If they're far enough offshore, their waste can be legally pumped right into the ocean. But closer to land, they're supposed to use a holding tank, which has to be pumped out, much like an RV gets pumped out. I, I personally wonder how many of them actually follow these rules. Uh, but I digress. My bigger boat, 23 and a half foot bow rider, has an actual enclosed compartment that houses a small portable toilet. It's one of the reasons we bought this particular boat. Now, for an adult, it isn't particularly easy to use, and it's not well suited for larger people. But it is a place to do your business if you really gotta go. But for those of us who are boating in smaller boats, we have to be a little more creative when it comes to how we relieve ourselves when we're out on the water. If you've been out fishing for several hours or just spent a whole day on a boat, I'm sure at some point in time you've needed to drain the holding tank or drop some friends off at the pool. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. I imagine many of you have just relieved yourself in some secluded area of the river or lake. I get it, I do. Do you ever see photos of those huge raft ups that people have in some of the lakes in the summertime? where there's like hundreds of boats all rafted up for a whole day. They'll all be tied up alongside of each other and everybody is out in the water. I always assume that the water around those boats is maybe a little warmer and more golden colored than it normally would be. I mean, you know, people gotta go. But listen, it's probably obvious that there are problems with using a the pond that you're in or the lake or the river as your own personal toilet. First of all, technically, public urination is illegal most everywhere, if, if not everywhere. Secondly, if everybody did that and they just put their human waste in the lakes, rivers, and ponds and bays that we all share, it would get disgusting pretty quickly. So how can we legally, easily, and safely relieve ourselves when we're out on our smaller boat, other than wearing an adult diaper all day long. I, I don't want to think about that. I have been researching some things to make it easier for you and your passengers to be able to spend more time on the water without any accidents happening on the boat. If your only worry is the ability to be able to go number one occasionally, there are two options you might not know about. The first is this reusable portable urinal for men and women. It's small, so it doesn't take up much space on your boat, and it might be all you need. That is, unless you already have an old wide mouth drink bottle. You know you've done that in the past. But the females on your boat might not be too inclined to try that option. The second option are these disposable urinals for men or women. And they turn the waste into gel. I guess that's so it's not a liquid that could splash or spill. And it probably helps with odor control as well. Speaking of turning waste into gel, there are these packets that you can get to do just that. So if you go with one of these options or one of the options I show next, you don't have to worry about carrying a potentially leaky bag of liquid off the boat. 
that's pretty cool. The cheapest, simplest option is the old bucket. These days, many of us have these five gallon buckets. If you don't already have one, you can buy them very cheaply at home improvement or hardware stores. But I strongly suggest getting one with a lid, which is where our next option comes in. This is a seat that is designed to fit over a five gallon bucket. It comes with bags and a lid. The bags make it easy to keep your bucket clean and dry, if, if you know what I mean. And if you use that powder stuff I mentioned, you're not carrying a bag full of liquid off of your boat. And if you don't already have a bucket, or you just want a special dedicated bucket, they sell one that includes a bucket. Of course, one downside to these is that you have a five gallon toilet bucket taking up space on your small boat, which brings us to this more expensive, but also much more portable option. It folds up to only be about three inches high when it's not in use. So it can be stored out of the way and you don't have people asking you, what is that bucket for? All of these options use bag liners that can be easily disposed of and mixed with the gel powder for safer disposal. But what about privacy? That's a bit of a challenge on a little boat. Honestly, on a small boat, there's not much chance of real privacy if other people are on the boat with you. But there are a couple of creative solutions to help provide some level of privacy for using the facilities or privacy for changing clothes if someone on your boat wanted to do that. The first solution is using a poncho. Now, don't get one of those clear ponchos. Get one that's colored like this one here. It might be all you need to provide your passengers with a little discretion while they take care of business. Ponchos can be very easy to store and they come in handy when it's raining too. Here's something that might seem like a weird idea, but it could work. It's a personal tent that can quickly be popped up over your toilet for privacy. The base of this tent is three feet by three feet. So it's really not a good idea on like a 12 or 14 foot boat, but on a 19 foot center console or a pontoon boat, it could be perfect. And if your boat has a bimini top, there's this option which is a curtain that attaches to the bimini top to provide some privacy, which seems pretty cool actually. And it's a very simple idea. Of course, it only works if you have your bimini top open, but it's a neat idea. Purchasing a few of these items allows you and your guests to comfortably stay out on the water longer, travel farther, and provide better accommodations for your passengers. So what are you currently using on your boat? Let me know in the comments below. Do any of these products give you the urge to buy them? If so, I have links in the video description for many of the products I showed in this video. And if all of this bathroom talk has made you feel the need to go, be my guest. But when you come back, check out this video right up here. I made it through without saying poop deck. Poop deck.